window AC units are really common around here and that's really where you start to experience issues with your energy bill. So they are just so inefficient. Right now as you're talking to me, this is a comparatively cool day in Jackson, Mississippi with a high of 92. Over the past three or four days, it has been over 100 degrees with a heat index even higher than that. So air conditioning access is a life or death issue here, especially for more vulnerable populations. Energy bills can get out of control in the summer. Air conditioning has to work extra hard to keep up and that really drives energy costs out of a range that many people can afford. Alum Energy is comprised of a number of very mission-driven individuals who care a lot about energy equity. Our goal is to see a world in which everyone can benefit from the sun and energy from the sun. So our main focus is to ensure that apartment renters similarly get the benefits of rooftop solar just as single-family homeowners do. We are doing that through our breakthrough world-first technology called the SolShare. The SolShare is the first technology that enables renters in multifamily buildings to directly consume rooftop solar. I'm an IT specialist, computer analyst, streamer, photographer, all that good stuff dealing with technology. Uh, now I've been renting with Bell Haven Residential for about a little bit over a year. Uh, my average energy bill is probably about 135 when I started renting here. Uh, I know when it was first implemented, uh, my bill, the energy bill was like $78. The first matter of the life. Oh, you know? Oh. Hey, let's go get a steak. <laughs> At first, uh, when I was uh, scouting apartments, I had never really considered that on my list of things to look for. But when I spoke with the people here and they were telling me, okay, we can help with your energy bill with solar panels, I was like, well, that's pretty cool. I don't have to worry so much about factoring in because the energy bills do fluctuate. So you can put aside an amount, but when it exceeds that amount, that's super stressful. Since I'm saving money on my utility bills, that allows me to invest back into my uh, small business or put it in my savings account. 